Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review along with lip swatches of some of the spring, even though it's now summer, uh, liquid lipsticks from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I know I promised you guys that I was going to do this a while ago when I first got them and I did a haul video, uh, but I just, sorry, haven't had time. So I'm finally doing them now out of, I think there was about seven or eight that launched um it wasn't actually that long ago to be fair what a month ago maybe six weeks ago and i picked up four of the newest ones now anastasia beverly hills is one of my uh favorite brands for liquid lipsticks in particular as well as brow products and i probably own about 20 shades i'm not even gonna lie i own quite a few of them and in terms of their quality and their uh, the way that the product is they are very thick they're like Steelers stay all day liquid lipsticks they're on the more thicker end whereas companies like Lime Crime and Colourpop are more on the thinner end in terms of consistency and Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipsticks and Dose of Colours as well are kind of right in the middle of thick and thin even Coloured Rain I would say is kind of right in the middle as well so with Anastasia Beverly Hills ones they are very very thick and very creamy and that means that you only really need to apply one layer to get full opaque coverage. But that also means that the thicker they are, that they can be a little bit more uncomfortable than more of the thinner consistency ones. Because obviously when it's thinner in consistency, it's a easily able to move around on your lips. Whereas something which is quite thick takes longer to dry and then can kind of cake up on your lips a little bit as well. Now, I personally find I don't have any problems in terms of flaking and that sort of thing because I only really apply one very thick layer I don't do just like a standard layer I do a very thick layer and then I apply it to my top and bottom lips I can smush them together move the product around a little bit tidy it up neaten it up and that's one of the good things about it being so thick is that it takes a little bit longer to dry and then they wear on me for upwards to seven to eight hours a day and after I'd say about maybe about hour six or seven, I start to get a little bit of fading around the edges. And the thing with liquid lipsticks is that they tend to, or you're able to remove them with something oil-based. So if you do eat something oil-based, it will remove itself around the middle of your lips. I generally don't tend to have that problem much because I've got quite a big mouth. And I don't mean, I mean, yes, I generally am quite a loud big mouth person, but I have actually got like a big mouth. And I am one of those people who, when they eat a burger, their lip touches their chin and they end up with a line on their lip. I'm one of those people. So I don't really tend to have that problem that much because my mouth is quite wide. But with some people, especially if you eat a lot, drink a lot, it obviously goes into the center of your mouth. This area can come off a little bit. But the good thing about a product which is so thick as Anastasia Beverly Hills is that you can uh, layer it and you can kind of fill in that area to make it look okay. Um... But generally, I'm quite happy with the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. Their range, like I said, is massive. You can get them at Sephora. I tend to get them direct from Anastasia Beverly Hills. There are some UK websites as well. You just have to Google them. But they generally tend to charge a much higher price than the standard because they are not um, official stockists. There is no official UK stockist of Anastasia Beverly Hills. So just bear that in mind that you may be pay paying a slightly increased price. I tend to use my Moolbox to ship them over to me. I'll link my video uh, on my mall box and how I send uh, US makeup to myself here in the UK so that you guys can see a kind of cheaper alternative if you choose to go down that route so and just an FYI this is Jeffree Star's androgyny velour liquid lipstick looks like so it's one of my favorites that's why I wear it all the time mine's actually nearly finished and it's my eyes I'm using Jeffree Star's beauty killer eyeshadow palette and I felt like going a bit all out today, you know, stuck a little bit of NYX liquid eyeliner out on the flick out there, bit of glitter. I used his skin frost on my tear duct as well as on my face. Yes, I'm wearing green highlighter, of course. So yeah, so I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to show you some lip swatches and let you know what my thoughts are. I've worn all of them, obviously, because I bought them ages ago. So I'm able to give you a very genuine and honest review on them. So I'm going to remove this now and I'm just going to use some standard Vaseline and a tissue to remove it and then show you some lip swatches. So this first one that I'm going to show you is called Catherine and this has been described as like a brownish berry shade and that is like the perfect description for this shade. 
out of all of the ones I've got I'd probably say that this is my favorite one out of these four I mean not as my lipstick collection in a whole which is just like the most impossible question to ask so please don't ever ask me that question because you'll get a very wishy-washy answer back and I'll probably list about 10 and then that will change the next week so this shade is absolutely beautiful it will work across the board on all skin tones it is a warm uh, shade and it's absolutely stunning really really happy with this I have done previous reviews on Anastasia's liquid lipstick so I'll link all of them below in case I've missed out anything today or whatnot or in case you're interested in obviously other shades sorry my fabulousness is moving around sorry about that and it comes with just a standard doe foot applicator nothing exciting nothing amazing and it smells kind of like chemicals nothing great but the lipstick itself is stunning So this is Catherine. Gorgeous, right? I wasn't making it up. Absolutely love, love, love this shade. I've worn this so many times since I bought it. I think I did a makeup tutorial with it as well, didn't I? Yes, the dramatic smoky eye one. I wore this in that. I absolutely love this one. This is one of my favourites out of all of her liquid lipsticks. And that was just one layer. It's pretty much dried down. It doesn't transfer much I would say it would transfer probably a tiny little bit and that's normally the extra residue that is on the lips but generally they don't really tend to transfer much because they're not supposed to they're meant to dry down to a completely matte finish finish which is what these ones do beautifully so this next shade is called Ashton and this is my next favorite one I appear to accidentally be doing it in order of my favorites so this is the next one. This is a beautiful mid-tone yellow based brown. Again, perfect to use for everyday use. Will work across the board on all skin tones. This one is just about nude enough not to be one of those horrendously disgusting liquid lipstick nudes which sit within the cracks of your lips, flake, fade, emphasize all the lines on your mouth this one is just dark enough not to be a nude like that so this is like the perfect nude in terms of a liquid lipstick especially for medium skin tones and then for darker skin tones as well if you're more fairer of skin and your lips are naturally more pink this may lean a little bit more of a more reddish brown on you but then if you layer it according to your choice if you want to layer it you can layer these ones maximum i'd say two layers is the most comfortable you can get then you'll get more of this actual shade as it shows as it is shown in the tube so this is ashton as you can see speaks for itself absolutely beautiful gorgeous lovely 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 i love it this next shade is called madison and it's like a very hot uh, magenta pink shade more magenta i'd say this one is probably the most flattering on asian skin tones if you like to wear pink lipsticks but you don't like neon pinks candy pinks baby pinks and even hot pinks this is a great alternative because it's a magenta shade so there's a little bit more red in there so it's a lot more wearable and a lot more flattering on medium and darker skin tones actually not even darker uh, as in very dark because this kind of lipstick I mean bright pinks tend to look amazing on really deep skin tones but this one looks great on uh, medium skin tones in particular So this is Madison, as you can see it's absolutely beautiful, perfect, perfect shade to wear for the summer. It's one of those shades where you don't need to put much on your eyes, obviously ignore my eyes today because we're not talking about me right now. But let's say if you go away on your holidays and you don't want to wear that much makeup but you still want something which has a little bit of oomph to it, 
this is the kind of lipstick that you should wear very simple plain eyes just a little bit of liquid eyeliner and some mascara and bam this on your lips and you look stunning this will look amazing with a tan as well so this final shade is called Rio which is obviously perfect because the Olympics in Rio are about to start pretty soon and it is a bright hot almost neon I'd say pink Unfortunately, this is my least favourite of the liquid lipsticks as a whole. This comes right after the nude ones like Lovely and Pure Hollywood, which are so popular. And to this day, I still don't know why they are just the most unforgiving on the lips. And this one comes very slowly after those other, those other nude lipsticks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this first just so that you guys can see the colour and how it applies to my skin tone. And then I'm going to give you my final review on this one. So, this is Rio. Why do I dislike it so much, you say? It looks lovely, you say. It looks so bright and amazing and perfect for summer, you say. Wrong on every count. Let me give you a close-up. Not sure how much you can tell. I have had to apply two layers to get it like this. This one does not apply cleanly at all in terms of patchiness it's dark in this area it's lighter in that area then you go over it again with the same brush without having to put it back into the wand back into here and apply more it becomes darker it becomes lighter you're moving it around and at the same time it's drying it's drying it's drying it's absolutely horrible you cannot get a clean opaque coverage with this whatsoever i can already see areas where it's darker here it's lighter here the way that it settles on the lips is absolutely horrible. I mean, for the moment, it's okay, but already as it's drying, I can see it settling within the lines of my lips. Um, <clears throat> it starts to crack and fade fairly quickly. It actually becomes all clumpy and lumpy in places to the point where it looks shabby and disgusting is the only way that I can describe it. For some reason, when it comes to neon hot pink liquid lipsticks, every single brand that I've tried cannot pull this one off. It is such a difficult thing. It's something to do with the pigments when it comes to neon liquid lipsticks, as well as neon lipsticks in general, as well as neon eyeshadows as well. They always come out patchy. It's got something to do with the pigment. And uh, as far as I'm aware, I haven't got a single liquid lipstick, which is neon, which comes out nice. I'll give you an example. Mars is Colourpop doesn't come out nice on me again problem sitting on the lips it starts to crack I've already got that line going around the middle it doesn't blend into your flesh as in the inside part of your lips very nicely colored rain one I've got is quite similar Stila one from last summer the summer before oh my god that was disgusting it was horrible I wore it one time and then that was it this one too not so great even one or two of the other Anastasia ones which are quite neon in color the it just does not work it's got something to do with the pigment and I can already see it starting to bunch up in places as well it's just not flattering at all the only way that I've been able to wear this liquid lipstick and for it to look amazing is to apply a lip gloss on top now luckily Anastasia has got a liquid lip um, a lip gloss called Rio as well which is the lip gloss equivalent of this one and I layer it and it looks absolutely beautiful and perfect however you should not have to go and buy another lip product just because one other lip product doesn't work that's not how it is I just happen to own the lip gloss before this one ever even came out so I was able to use them together this one gets a one or a two out of ten and even that is pushing it because I like the color of it but it's a complete and utter from me don't waste your money on this one you will hate it and you will regret it that's it and on that positive note I hope you guys enjoy this video like comment subscribe let me know what your thoughts are also, you guys that have bought some of the other shades from this spring collection, let me know what other ones you think that I should get. Because I have obviously only got four, because uh, those are the ones that seemed, from looking at swatches online and the Instagram pictures and that sort of thing, the ones that seem to work the best. Also, remember when it comes to Instagram pictures, like ones of this, they have been edited heavily to make them look the way that they do. I unfortunately fell for that and bought this one and have lived to regret it ever since. We all do it now and then. How are we supposed to know? Not everybody's genuine. Not everyone's honest. Everyone's a flipping liar. 
yeah so yeah let me go let me know if there are any other ones that you think that i should get and i will happily look into them because i do like anastasia's liquid lipsticks they're oh great and that's all i can say i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys are all great and i'll see you all in the next video bye